a mí, a mí me gusta mucho, me gusta mucho. La política me encanta, me gusta I love mucho politics. Y, I like it a lot and I'm very happy because this is the first time I'm going to vote. Yo no cambio. When Maria Elena Granada, a housekeeper from Colombia, became a United States citizen last January, she paid for the filing fee with money she won on a local Spanish language radio station. I thought, I'm going to win that $1,000 and I'm going to become a citizen. And I won the raffle and I paid for my citizenship. On a recent Wednesday night in Queens, Ms. Granada and three other new U.S. citizens from Colombia <laughs> gathered at the office of a community nonprofit to discuss New York State's presidential primary on Tuesday. For them, it will be their first time voting in the U.S. And like thousands of other first-timers of various ethnicities in New York City, their political opinions have been little noticed by polls and pundits. On Tuesday, I'm going to vote for Hillary, and then whatever happens, happens. I think my vote will go to Hillary Clinton, because as a woman, she may better understand the plight of undocumented people. I was one of those people. She's the first woman who's a serious candidate, and I know with her we can win. There are other countries with female presidents, and the United States is very different. It's the most powerful country in the world, but look at Argentina. New York City's immigrant population has traditionally leaned Democratic, but the unanimous support among this group for Mrs. Clinton was a surprising finding, one that was repeated among a group of Haitian Americans in a Brooklyn barber shop. <laughs> I like Hillary Clinton. I really like her program. And since I was very satisfied with President Clinton's administration, and I figured I'd stick with Hillary. Sylvain Benoit has been voting since he received his citizenship in 1980, nearly as long as he's been cutting hair. On any given night, a group of Haitian born Americans gathered his barbershop in Prospect Heights to play dominoes and talk politics. Only last Thursday night, there was less chatting. The Democratic debate was on television. We got a customer coming in, and we have a lot of guys, and like a retired guy, be coming in and hanging out and talking politics and sport. This is like our headquarter. We meet here almost every night. And the, the, we talk the American politics, the world politics, especially the Haitian politics. Well, we Haitian, we always support the democratic government. The reason we support them because every time we have a democratic government in Washington, it, they treat, we have a better treatment in Haiti. <laughs> Aristide is a former president of Haiti. He was for the people. Now he's in exile in South Africa. So we, we know how the first Bush, we had the first coup d'etat. Then under President Clinton, President Aristide went back to Haiti. And then under the second Bush, another coup d'etat that really destroyed Haiti. I would like to make sure that I go with a democratic candidate that can beat any of the Republicans. And um, that's why I, I will go with Hillary. Breaking barriers, Barack Obama facing tough questions, not just about his policies, how much of an impact will race play in 2008? We don't choose somebody because, especially by color, we don't do so. It's about a vision for the country and uh, just prove what you can do and uh, forget about the race. Uh, Obama, whatever they call him, I had nothing against him, like he said. Mm -hmm. Listen to him, it's nice. I just chose Hillary. I don't know much about Obama. For the past, I've been following him for the past few years. I like him as a, as a human, but uh, I cannot tell you I understand Clinton better than, than Obama. <laughs>